Now, did you manage to guess the true identity of Swan during Saturday night's episode of The Masked Singer? Well done, Jonathan, right at the yes, very last yeah. second. After battling it out against Sausage, Swan was finally revealed as former EastEnders star Martin McCutcheon. Morning, Good Martin. Morning. How lovely well to done, see you. you. Well done. I mean, the worst thing about uh, the worst thing about the... McClatchen. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that, <laughs> as, our, as our lady uh, this morning, uh, if you've just tuned in, you don't know that our lady on Spin to Win was given the uh, question, who's coming on later? And she said, uh, oh, yes, it's Martina McClatchen. <laughs> and uh, you'll always be <laughs> you'll always be McClatchen to me, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the, the weekend and, and the show itself, because uh, the worst thing is in you know, people get voted out you know these are really really good voices you have the most amazing voice yeah. and uh, and so for you uh, doing the show and, and and you were telling us just in the break a second ago that you have claustrophobia yeah I really do I um I even get kind of a bit stressed out if I'm having a treatment or something lovely and there's no windows in the room I can get a bit freaked out but my little boy is a massive fan of the show and he kind of doesn't really ever get to see mummy do what she does as a job or as a career because most of the stuff I do is obviously for adults or grown up or too, too old for him to watch. And so it was lovely to do something that he could watch. And for five minutes, I was his little superhero. So it was all worth it. But I was so relieved when that mask came off. I was like, oh, I can breathe, I can breathe. I bet you were. But you shared that lovely moment and your son Rafferty, I think was at home watching it. And obviously you have to keep it a secret. So he had no idea it was you until the reveal when we all found out it was and you filmed it and let's just have a look at it now it's so lovely take it off take it off Oh, that is such <laughs> a gorgeous the moment. Sweetest thing. But he uh, he hadn't <laughs> he hadn't actually been been supporting uh, uh, Swan throughout throughout the series. Do you know what? He was going, oh, you know, Swan's okay. You know, she's okay, but she's a bit boring compared to like Badger. And Sausage is really fun, and has got a really good voice as, as well. I was going, I think Swan's really, really talented. Like, we've got the best voice, don't you? He's like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. I mean, the, the, um, Jonathan guessed it right at the last minute because up until then, I mean, having your voice compared to Adina Menzel, I mean, amazing. Being compared to Meghan Markle, but Jonathan right at the last minute. For you, was that annoying that he got it? Do you want to try and keep it a secret until the reveal? Yes, of course. I mean, you know, it's a full-on military operation. And, you know, ITV, they pull all the stops out. It's such a big, glossy, flawed show. And so much is at stake if people find out. It's the whole thing is to find out who is behind the mask. So I was really hoping he wouldn't get it. I thought he might have got it even before because we kind of know each other. We've seen each other over the years, as you do. Um, but I, that's why I said Jonathan Ross will know my voice a million miles away, my speaking voice. So we have to make me American. That's the one thing we have to do. And I think that kind of steered him away for a bit longer than he normally would have but I, I thought he would get me I did think he would get me and he did Louise Redknapp <sighs> knew it was you on Twitter <laughs> yeah she knew because we were at Conti's together we were fellow Conti's girls and um, she knew we've sung duets together and stuff like that and I felt so bad because she was texting me going is it you and I was like oh I'm under contract I can't say I can't say and I was just ignoring her <laughs> just like <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so I was just like, and in the end, I was like, I'm so sorry, Louise, you were spot on. And she was like, oh, OK. Deny, deny, deny. <laughs> um, the costume itself, I mean, it was beautiful. I mean, all the costumes are incredible, but do you get much say in what you want to be, how it looks? Yeah, I think obviously they know um, who the rest of the cast are and I don't. And they kind of try and do something that they think is quite fitting to you. And I think they know that I'm kind of, you know, at heart a bit of a showgirl and I love the big glam stuff. If I could have been, I'd have been in musical films forever um, of that time and that era. So I think it was a good fit for me. And I think also I started out, people that knew me like Loose Clues would have known that I started out as a ballet dancer. I started out in dance. Um, obviously the Swan is the name of many pubs 
pubs and there was a link with a pub. I lived opposite a pub called The Swan for many years. Matthew Bourne was a choreographer for My Fair Lady and he also did kind of one of the biggest revamps of Swan Lake. Um, and that whole typical showbiz thing of like on the surface, you're kind of keeping everything together as you guys know and underneath sometimes you can be going a bit, oh! So yeah, it was kind of it was kind of a perfect fit, but it was a really hard outfit to wear. I'm not gonna lie. I had like a little boxing mask on underneath, and on my face was like that squashed. It was not glamorous at all, and I could hardly breathe. Never mind, you know, sing. But I was so relieved and so happy to be part of it. It was so much fun, and, and I've on conquered your back it. as well. The wings were so heavy. Did you have to have physio after? Yeah, I did. I had to have physio for two weeks afterwards because it kind of completely, they're so heavy and they're made of heavy wire. And the mask, the actual swan thing was made of like a wide sculpture as well. And it just makes your body a bit out of whack. So for me, I had physio for a couple of weeks afterwards and it put me back to normal. But, you know, no pain, no gain in this business. You, the show must go on. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, you, you have taken a little bit of a step back because I think you were saying that Rafferty's five and uh, you're being yeah. a mum and concentrating yeah. on that. So do you think that, um, that doing it has um, given you a bit of a confidence boost? 100%. It was so lovely to be involved in something so huge and it had such a magic about it. And um, there aren't many shows anymore where you get that full on glamour and music all in one go for different ages. And it was honestly, it was such an honor to be part of it. I was so thrilled they asked me. And um, I just, it was a bit of a dream come true because you get to sing all these different songs on a prime time TV show um, with no labels. You just get to just go for it. Yeah. Um, and that's really refreshing and really liberating. And um, it was so good for my confidence. It's made me realize how much I miss it and that I can be a good mum because I wanted Rafferty for a long time, as you guys know. And I really want to be like giving my all. But I, it's been so good for me that he see what mummy does and that I want to do it more. I want to do more and more now. Oh, good for you. Well Listen, done, it's you. great to see you. It really is. And congratulations. Well done. Good Lots good. of love. Thank, Thank you. you. So well. So happy. Thank you. Thank you very Take much. Care. Well done, you. Take care. Take care.